Hey, other Goji, what you doing? Huh? Ah! Welcome back to the channel, Kaiju fans. This is Fuzzy Owl, and today we're going to be doing a Kaiju Clash. So what that's going to be is I'm going to be putting up a couple different Kaiju together, a um, couple different figures here. We got the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019, as well as the NECA Godzilla 2019. And this isn't going to be a uh, comparison video where I announce a winner. This is more just giving you the information that you need to decide if you'd like to purchase one, the other, or both. So let's get started. Okay, so moving forward with the comparison here, we're going to be going over a few different points of criteria, including articulation, paint application, the sculpt of the figure, as well as the price of the figure and what value is included in that for your money. Let's get started with articulation. So articulation for the NECA figure here, his head is kind of limited, it can go up and down, uh, rotates around on a ball joint, the jaw does open in one direction, his neck swivels here. But uh, you're kind of limited and you don't want to bust the spines or anything. His arm will rotate in a full 360 degrees, but like most NECA figures, you got to be careful. Joints will pop off. Uh, you can just heat it up and re reapply it. The elbow here does bend on a hinge. Yeah, let me get it on a hinge. And then uh, the wrist also bends on a hinge there. The leg, it rotates all the way around in a full 360. It doesn't go backwards much, but it does go forward some. And only back about that much. And then the ankle also rotates on a ball joint. You can't really see it here, but it, it's a little stiff, but it does rotate. And the hip also rotates here, but not much. The tail. Now, the tail does articulate pretty well. It's no longer on a wire frame like it used to be. It's actually separate ball joints. I believe there's a little bit over uh, 25 points of articulation for the NECA figure. So articulation on the NECA is not too bad, and the seams do cover up nicely, which we will talk about in one moment. Now, onto the SH Monster. It's Godzilla. So... The articulation here is a little bit more prominent. His jaw rotates on a ball joint, actually, and that's actually detachable as well. His head rotates on a ball joint, and there are many more points of articulation in the neck, so you can pose his head up like he's roaring in the poster. His arm rotates on a full 360, but my figure's stiff, so I'm trying to be careful. He has this like, extra little ball joint in his elbow. It's kind of like a ball that just rotates that's textured, and then his forearm and his wrist here. He does have a seam right here up on his chest. It doesn't move too much, but it allows for a little bit of rotation, and his hip rotates as well for some ab crunching there. His leg does rotate a full 360 degrees. Mine kind of clicks a little bit. And his knee goes forward and back some. He's got this extra little ankle break, and his actual ankle rotates on a ball joint there. Moving on to his tail. So his tail is very similar to the NECA. It is very detailed and it has multiple points of articulation. Each little segment of his tail that you can see where there's a break, there's a ball joint. Mine was stiff at first, but if you heat it up, it will play nice and it will allow you to uh, bend it in multiple different ways. There's also this little free floating dorsal spine at the end here. And yes, this figure is quite seamy. All right, so looking at the paint application of the figures, if you look over at the SH Monster Arts figure, it might at first glance appear to have less detail, but that's just because it has a more consistent charcoal gray going down its body. Whereas the NECA figure over here, you can see that it's got multiple different tones of paint, making the scales appear to be pr more pronounced. So for the NECA figure, I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of the edge here because even though this is a more stylized version of Godzilla's color scheme, he doesn't actually appear this way in the film. That tritone paint job really is kind of giving him uh, some highlights on the scales here. His spines even look a little bit like a, a little wood grain. Chest, not so much. It doesn't really stand out. And the nails are this kind of like grayish green, which I think is a nice little effect there. The detail on the tail is nice. You can see in there. You can see some detailing inside the scales. Now, this is where it gets a little bit weird. Godzilla's eyes are a little bit wonky. We talked about him being a bit strung out, uh, and we don't want that for Godzilla. He looks like he's looking different directions. His eyes are bugging. And the teeth kind of got this like... Uh, his, his teeth are painted over the gums, and it looks kind of weird. You do get a nice kind of pinkish color on the inside of the mouth there, but the teeth are kind of, uh, they look they look big. They don't do a good job of making them look like they fit the scale of his mouth there. So, yeah, kind of a little bit iffy on the face. I would like to actually go in there and repaint that at some point, but you can see the gills stand out nice, the scales stand out nice. Besides that little bit of a face issue, he looks great. Now, for the SH Monster Arts figure, if you look at the color scheme on him, it's this nice deep charcoal gray all the way down, except if you look at the tail, there are, is some segmentation of like a little bit lighter of that, that charcoal gray. I don't know if that's an issue or what's going on with that, but it's not too distracting. The nails are this kind of lighter gray tone, so they stand out. 
the nails on the hand don't appear to be too much different. They look about what you get on the toes. And if you look at his chest, you can kind of also see some highlighting on his uh, tent pack. Now moving out of the head, this is where the figure really shines. You got these yellowish eyes that are the eyes that appear in the film for Godzilla King of the Monsters. They're both looking the same direction. They're painted masterfully. Uh, that's a tiny pupil as well. His teeth look really nice as well. They don't look... Uh, the, on the top row, there's a little bit of uh, that solid bone color going all the way through, but it's not as bad. The sculpt is a little bit tinier for the teeth on this figure, and uh, you also get this deep red uh, inside his mouth, as well as a lighter pink slash charcoal gray color. It's more so pink uh, for the membranes when he opens his mouth. Again, not much differentiation in the paint along his chest, but there is a little bit of extra highlighting there, um, allowing for some of the detail to stand out. Now moving on to the sculpt, starting with the NECA figure here, it's made from like a kind of harder uh, rubber and uh, the sculpt is pretty fantastic for its price, which we will get to. Godzilla's dorsal plates are nice. He's got this nice detail along his chest. It is prominent down to his uh, cloaca. You can see a lot of detail all over him, especially on his legs. And again, the paint kind of makes the scales stand out on his side here. Now, I am going to give it a little bit extra leeway because while this does have less articulation, it is doing an excellent job of covering up the seams. Yes, you can still see them, and the NECA does a great job of covering them, while also being able to pronounce the scales and really make the effort they put into this sculpt shine. Now for the sculpt on the SH Monster Arts. Oh boy, so I know I kind of don't want to keep this opinionated, but this sculpt is fantastic. I was so delighted when I first got it. I didn't think it was going to look as good as it turned out to look. And this figure is made by like kind of like a harder plastic. I don't actually know exactly what the material SH Monster Arts uses, but it is very high quality. And just looking at the sculpt, you got more uh, muscle buildup right behind his arms. He looks stronger. Uh, his legs are more muscular. The sculpt on his head is fantastic. It's perfect. It's about as good as they're ever going to get on a figure like this. The dorsal plates look amazing. They're a little bit thinner and uh, on, than they are on the NECA, but I still think they look fantastic. And the tail looks great as well. And that is something I wanted to throw back on the NECA as well. So they, they both look fantastic. The dorsal plates are a little bit thicker on the NECA. But since they're using a rubbery material, uh, the tip of mine, and I've seen others, is bent a little bit. Um, on the NECA figure, whereas the SH Monster Arts doesn't have that issue, and uh, both the tails look very good, but specifically on the SH Monster Arts, this figure, down to the very last detail, down to scaling, just looks incredible. Now, included with the SH Monster Arts figure and in the sculpt portion, you get the replaceable jaw. It's on a ball joint, and you also get this beam effect that you can shoot up into the sky. It will hold it, but I do recommend having a stand separate. This is a really nice sculpt of the atomic breath that he blasts up into the sky in the poster and in the trailer. And uh, it's a deep blue with some, like, silverish highlights on the bottom. But you also get this replaceable jaw with the figure. Moving on to price. $25. 70 to $90, depending on where you got it. I pre-ordered mine, so I got it for about $69.99 off Amazon, but I think the price has gone up. Look, guys, these are both excellent figures, and you're getting great value for both of them. You can't tell that this is a $25 figure on the right compared to a, an $80 figure at first glance. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to dish out the money, get the NECA. It's still a great figure for your collection. If you do want to spend a little bit of extra money, you can get the SH Monster Arts figure. You're also going to get a breath effect and a replaceable jaw with that. That looks fantastic. Also an excellent addition to your collection. It's purely up to you guys. I've given you the facts the best that I can. It's up to you to make a choice on uh, if you want one, the other, neither, or both. I, I highly recommend these figures. I love having them. And uh, you guys let me know which one you're going to get or are you going to get both of them in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.